I like new new world humans. <laughs> Hello, hello, hello. Near, near world humans. <laughs> right, I got to turn off the audio so I won't hear my feedback. And all right. So welcome, welcome, welcome. I hope you can see us. I hope you can hear us. So this is my new bestie. This is Richard Harrington. Hi, guys. And I've asked him to join me for my first ever in this YouTube series entitled New World Leaders. We're in Scottsdale, Arizona. We just shared the stage with the greatest, right? Sharon Lecter. We've shared the stage with Kevin Harrington from Shark Tank, with Les Brown, my guru dad, world's greatest motivational speaker, and many, many, many more. And I've asked Richard to, to spend a few moments with me to talk to you about what does it take to become a new world leader? What does it take to be a guru, an author, speaker, coach, consultant, trainer, that kind of thing? And I want him to share some of his expertise. Like I want him to share with you some of his secrets to wealth. And he has a very special uh, live webinar happening in less than an hour. And for those of you who are able to catch us live, you'll be able to click on that and join Richard. Am I right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so Richard, say hello to the nice people. Let them know who you are and what you do. Hi, um, I'm Richard Arrington. I'm, I'm a value investor. I'm a philanthropist and I'm a human, most importantly. <laughs> I'm not a robot. <laughs> Real deal. But um, I just want to say uh, to you, James, that um, guys, if, if you haven't seen James speak live, oh my word, what an experience. Um, I want to share a quick story. So we are um, out here in Arizona mm. for this big international summit. Uh, so Brian Welsh, uh, the founder of, of Real, Real Success, he calls up all the speakers on, on the opening night mm. to give an um, intro on what they're going to share. So we're all speaking about what, what we're going to share. This guy over here says, guys, I want to invite you to church on Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> what? Did I hear that correctly? Did this guy say church? And... Um, and then, as, as, so personally, I've had like really bad experiences in like um, like charismatic churches yeah, yeah, yeah. and those TV uh, pastors. So I was like, immediately, my guard went up, and 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 like all this uh, thoughts came up. Like, why is this guy saying church? Like, this is a business event. If they want to church, they'll go to church. Yeah, <laughs> it's like yeah. all these thoughts. And you know what, James? Um, you said that Friday night while I was sleeping, I was thinking about that. Saturday night while I was sleeping, I was thinking about that. And guys, um, Sunday morning, I showed up. I was there for church. <laughs> and um, you're just amazing. And um, every speaker that I saw, um, I haven't told Les Brown that your church uh, service was amazing. Mm. I told Brian Wells, James's church service was amazing. I've never met someone that speaks about religion and doesn't offend anyone. Mm. And um, so that um, was really an amazing. And I just want to say one more thing about church apparently this interview is all about me <laughs> <laughs> what one more thing um i um when you said how do you how do you judge if someone is spiritual mm. do you ask them what is their religion i'm like do you ask them what church do you go to like do you ask them how often like do you read your bible how do, do you, you know? drink do you smoke do you yeah. have sex what do you do and then and then james says by the fruit the fruits of the spirit and you know what the in the new testament it, it doesn't say we're allowed to judge that's right judge not love more i'll give you one commandment love thy neighbor except in one place where we're allowed to judge judge a tree by its fruits and when you said that and what fruits not the fancy house the fancy car buying a bunch of things to show off things we can't take with us fruits of the spirit the love the joy the peace James, when you said that, I was like, I had to be here today for this. And thank you so much, my brother. That was such a service to me. And I um, appreciate you so much. And thank you for this opportunity. Um, I don't take this lightly uh, for trusting me with your beautiful audience. And yeah, so thank you again. Wow. I had I did not expect that. Thank you very much, my it's brother. My pleasure. And uh, <laughs> Richard said to me, he says, I'm only coming to your church thing because you said spiritual, not religion. Yeah. <laughs> so I knew I knew I was on on spiritual eggshells. So I'm glad to hear that I that I that I danced well. You danced so, so well. Would you be kind enough to let my audience know who you are? What's your thing? What 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 are you bringing to the world? And yeah, just I just want to give you the the platform. 
tell us about you. Let people know who you are, what you do. Yeah, so um, I'm from South Africa, if you couldn't tell by the accent. And um, I wasn't I wasn't born with money. I never came from a rich family, never came from a rich area. I was blessed enough to be accepted to college on a full scholarship. And I got a degree in investments. And um, um, after university, the first paycheck I received, I blew it. Blew it, because I wasn't used to money. Mm -hmm. I got my first paycheck and I thought, I've arrived, my yeah. first paycheck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I was spending like a crazy person and not just the first paycheck, that pattern went on for one and a half years. Then I found myself, I maxed up all my credit. So I couldn't continue this lifestyle. Mm -hmm. And then I found myself deep in debt. And I didn't know who to approach. I couldn't approach my friends because my friend was also in debt. Could have been the blind leading the blind. I, could, I couldn't approach my parents because I was embarrassed. I'm a firstborn, yeah. the first one with a, with a degree in finance and investments and I can't budget. I was embarrassed, I was ashamed. So I went online. I watched webinars, I watched online courses. I got a coach and a mentor. And after 12 months, I wiped up all of my debt. Because okay. I learned two things, how to hack my mindset and how to hack my habits. People are broke, broke mindset. They don't have a money problem, they have a mindset problem. People are broke, so broke habits. Well, no wealth is wealthy habits. People say, wow, you wiped out your debt in one year, that's short. Maybe it was the longest day of my life. I lost all of my friends. Yes. And that was a good thing because they were part of the problem. That lifestyle, that YOLO lifestyle, which is a broke lifestyle. Um, living for the moment, spend all you have right now. What if you die today? But what if you wake up tomorrow morning? You're going to wake up broke. So you got to think strategic, think long term. And the friends I have now, I met when I had nothing. So it was worth it. And then, then a crazy thing happened. I was riding home from work one day. I saw this homeless person at the traffic light. And the thought hit me that this guy's also debt free. Because up until that moment, I thought, I'm the man. Look at me. I made it. Debt free. But so is this homeless person, also debt free. So there's another level. And that's financial freedom. And that just means when you have enough assets to sustain your lifestyle, you're financial free. You don't have to work. When you work, it's because you love to do it, not because you need to. You're financially free because your assets mm -hmm. exceeds your liabilities. So I went researching what is the um, highest asset class that has the highest ROI, because that's the number one term for investors, ROI. I researched all the asset classes. The number one asset class for the past four decades um, in the States and mostly around the world is equities, listed businesses on the stock market. I began to pump my money in the stock market because I still had a paycheck as a financial mm -hmm. analyst. Long story short, after three and a half years, my returns on my stock portfolio matched my paycheck as an investment analyst, quit my job. Yeah. Living off my stocks, technically retired at the age of 24. I'm now 34. I'm celebrating a decade of financial freedom. And now I, now I believe I'm in that right phase of my life now to teach and share because not only have I become financially free um, once, I managed to sustain this now for a decade. Mm -hmm. And my why for that is I want people to get emotional freedom. Beautiful. Because I didn't want to be debt free to brag and say I'm debt free. I wanted to be debt free to stress less about money, to worry less about money. So yes, if you want financial freedom, financial freedom is the means goal to get to the end goal. The end goal is emotional freedom where you set goals beyond money. We make your decisions beyond money. Money doesn't even play a factor. Mm -hmm. I tell people that Financial prosperity is the lowest level of prosperity. Mm. That's why I know I have such a, a problem with these um, TV preachers because yeah. financial prosperity is the lowest level. Now that you have the money, now what? Yes. How is your health? Now that you have the health, how's your friendships? Mm -hmm. Now that you have your friendships, what's your purpose? What are you here for? And so that's me in a nutshell. Wow. So um, I'm going to talk to, I want to talk to you about, I know we have a limited amount of time because you're going live and I want them to know how to jump into your masterclass. So Richard is about to do a masterclass. So anyone catching this live, I want hours. you to be able to do that. And yeah. Two hour masterclass. And we only have a couple of minutes here. The other thing is I'd like you to let people know how to get in touch with you beyond the masterclass. Cause some people will be watching a recording, mm -hmm. not going to be able to grab the masterclass. So would you be kind of to tell my audience, um, how to get into this masterclass for those of you who are live and then how to connect with you because hopefully you can appreciate this is a true servant spirit this is a man who doesn't need to be doing this and that's one of the 
one of the reasons why he's in such beautiful flow, because it's not needy or greedy. He needs nothing and he needs no one. He loves and treasures everything. He loves and treasures everyone. He comes from an abundance mindset. So money is one factor. It's not everything. And this man understands that. And so he will be able to serve and support you, not just on wealth, but the things that are precursors and what to do about it now that you're there. So how do people contact you? How do they get into the webinar? Um, um, yeah, so for the webinar, uh, the link is realsummits.com forward slash rich. So that's realsummits.com forward slash rich. If you want to uh, to get in touch with my work, I would say start. I was so blessed to be featured in the Forbes article with Warren Buffett in 2020. So just Google. Thank you. <laughs> Warren Buffett, my um, number one mentor in the world. I read nine books about his life. I've studied the Berkshire shareholders letter for the past decade and this is not financial advice so i'm just saying that and i am a berkshire uh, shareholder so i have to say that also but i yeah that's one of my dreams next year to come back to america guys it's my first time in the states um, i want to come back next year to go to the berkshire uh, stockholders meeting it will be my dream uh, to meet warren personally but he's been my mentor for the past 14 years where was i oh yeah so just google richard arrington forbes and you can read that article and um if you want to get a hold of us um you can email um, I think you can email uh, someone in my team. Her name's Kristen. She's amazing. So Kristen at rhinternational.net. So is it Christine? Just to help people out. Yeah, Christine. so Kristen. So it's uh, C-H-R-I-S-T-E-N. Okay. Sorry. C-R-I-S-T-I-N at rhinternational.net. But just speak to James. what? International.net? I just want to have a show. R-H-International. R-H-International.net. And we want to check the website, rhinternational.net. That's the website. Everything's there. Beautiful. So. And for my community, we're going to, for the gurus, I'm going to be, I'm going to be capturing this uh, recording and we're going to walk through it. And I'm going to make sure that you have Richard's contact information. So that's that. Wow. The, the live masterclass, how do people connect? Yeah. So guys, it's happening in a few minutes. Uh, the web link is realsummits.com forward slash rich. That's R-I-C-H. What a name. You know, James, many times I meet people and they say, rich, you must be rich in money. I said, yes, that, but rich means full supply. Amen. It means if I'm rich in strength, I full supply of strength. Rich in energy, full supply yes. of energy. Rich in money, full supply of money. It means full supply. Yeah. And um, yeah, so it's funny for to me, say that. For me, what I use is the term abundance. And what I say is abundance is a spiritual state that gives birth to the physical state of wealth. But abundance is a spiritual state. When I feel abundant, abundance always activates altruism. Altruism means serve. When we serve greatly, we deserve greatly. And if we allow that energetic flow with some wisdom and strategy, we're going to be wealthy people. And so abundance is a precursor to wealth. Love that. They're, they're two distant things. And, and so it's abundance of time and talent and treasure and, and all that. Next. My watch is vibrating here. It's time? Okay. Um, how did you get on these stages? One last question. How did you get from I'm sitting there behind my laptop, becoming wealthy, enjoying this, taking care of my life? How did you find yourself now sharing the biggest stages in the world with the biggest names? How did you get from there to here? Give 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 my community some tips on what happened. I love that question. I love that question. Literally, my friend asked me that a few days ago. He said, How the hell, sorry, my language, how did you get on that stage? How do you become a speaker? And I said, I got personal success first and I got invited to speak. Mm. Your, your craft will prepare the path. I am all about the spirit of excellence. Your work will speak for you. Mm. Your work has a ripple effect and that's what's lacking in society. People do the bare minimum to not mm -hmm. get fired, the bare minimum to get by. Now, if you bring the spirit of excellence, you will stand out. So let your me... work will speak for you. Your craft will speak for you. May go in the extra mile yes. to speak for you. And I tell people, being from South Africa, it was the greatest blessing for me because it gave me such a value of work ethic. It mm -hmm. gave me such a value for money. And I will always go above and beyond because I know that is what's going to make me stand apart. So I believe there's more to it than what you just said. And you know that, but I want to hit a button here. A lot of people watching this are successful. A lot of people watching this already have mastery in something. They're a great tennis player. They're a great accountant. They're a great investor. They're a great doctor. But no one has found them and said, come on stage. So how did you connect with who that got you? Like, how did you appear on the radar of those who would say, come teach? How did that happen? Um, 
I'm I'm good friends with Brian Welsh. Mm. So I actually went to his his event in 2016. Mm. And then after his event, I I approached him and said, This is me. I loved this. I actually interacted with him. Four years later, he streams me from Bali for the first time, me speaking to mass audience. But we've been building our friendship for four years. Okay, so it's this all about is what I want to say. Capital. That's what I wanted to say. So for everyone here, do not miss out on the opportunity to connect with the right people. Rich is now one of those people who you would want to connect with to end up going where you want to go. With me, with our peers. And just think about this. We just shared the stage together. The only reason why I got this interview is I asked for it. I asked for it. In a few minutes, I'm going to be going to the home of Sharon Lecter, who's wow. also offered to allow me going to her ranch. And she's offered to allow me, because I asked, that I'm allowed to interview her. Earn the respect of those who respect. Build relationships. It's not all about how many names can I get on my database. It's how many of the right people can you have the right connection with. And then be patient. Richard said, four years. Now, four years ago, four years ago, was that kind of six years yeah, uh, in so, total? And so, so I'm just going to, six years ago was the, hey, Brian, okay, now, when was your first big stage, your first presentation in front of a stage? Look, I was invited in 2019 uh, to speak to the National Youth Development Agency in South Africa, but it was a breakout session. So I wasn't one of the main like, mm -hmm. keynotes on the stage. In physical stage. Uh, today <laughs> not today this weekend this yeah, weekend yeah, yeah. and six years in the it's been a journey yeah it's been a journey and it's supposed to be that way because i see so much people they get the platform and they mess it up because mm. they weren't ready they didn't, they didn't do the inner do the, work the they didn't do the preparation yeah. work. they didn't um do the work below the surface and so i i am so happy it's my first time in america my first time speaking and I didn't tell you this, but I just got invited to uh, to a morning show in Vegas. So I'm going to Vegas. Vegas, baby. <laughs> I feel like I'm living in a movie. So everything is just um, happening so fast. And I'm um, I'm excited to go to the Grand Canyon for a solo trip to process no, everything. Yes, yes, yes. I just want to say, I'm not jealous that you're going to Sharon Lecter's ranch. I'm happy for you. Thank I you. am celebrating you and I'm cheering you on. And I really hope it's going to be also another... Um, amazing segment for this awesome well you're more channel. gracious than me because i'm jealous about your morning <laughs> <laughs> thank you richard please connect with richard we're going to put it in our online community our the contact information i want to endorse good people who do good work and so please send your love to richard uh, jump on that webinar if you can he's got to run and get himself all wired up for it uh, two hours of gold with this man richard and we're going to continue to grow together. Thank you, one and all, for joining us. Thank you, my dear friend. Thank you, my brother. Much love. All right. Love you guys. I'm going to shut this down, but please stay tuned to the YouTube channel. Like, love, comment, share, subscribe, let people know. And let me know who you'd love me to interview. God bless, brother. And, uh, and we're going to keep growing together. Love, joy, and peace. I'm going to shut this down. And I look forward to our next episode of New World Leaders. And let me figure out how to end my show. Love, joy, peace. Have a beautiful, blessed rest of your day.